Hello, good afternoon. 300 people attended a public meeting in Warwickshire today to hear staff from HS2 Limited explain what measures were being taken to minimise the impact of the proposed rail route linking London to Birmingham. Although businesses are broadly in favour of the £17 billion project, there's widespread opposition in the villages affected. From Kenilworth, Laura May McMullen reports. We don't want, we didn't ask for, and we're good citizens and don't need. Opposition to HS2 is still running high in Kenilworth. I'm concerned that the adversarial approach is actually hurting the potential of residents. Today's event was a chance for residents to get up to speed with the latest mitigation plans. Some say it did nothing to inform or console them. We're not getting any answers from them and we never have. I applaud the fact that they're here today, but as far as I can see, they've said absolutely nothing. And it was a rare appearance by HS2 managers, but one they felt worth making. It's important for us to listen to local views and concerns, particularly around mitigation, because that's very important information for us. We can, if possible, factor it into our local designs. While most local people oppose the line, Alan Marshall from Rail News says there's a strong case for HS2. He's also a Kenilworth resident. The passenger railway this year is going to carry 1.5 billion passengers. That's double in 15 years. And the, the railway network has not grown at all. And it's not just communities here who will be affected by HS2. A recent report by the Institute of Economic Affairs estimates it'll cost every taxpayer in the country a thousand pounds. Laura May McMullen, BBC Midlands Today, Kenilworth. Nearly 300 people have attended an information event in Kenilworth about the controversial high-speed rail line project. Among the speakers were HS2 Limited, the organisation behind the plans to build the rail link between London and the Midlands. It's the first time it's engaged directly with people in the Midlands who live, live along the proposed line. Those affected were offered advice about how to sell their properties or claim for compensation. On 96.2 FM and online at mytouchfm.co.uk, this is Touch FM News. A Coventry politician who's opposing plans for a high-speed railway near the city says the meeting people behind the scenes has failed to change his mind. One-time parliamentary hopeful Mark Taylor went to yesterday's HS2 Information Day in Kenilworth. HS2 Limited says it's committed to talking to all the people affected by the line, but Mr Taylor says we still don't know how the project will affect them. People have gone away thinking we don't know much more and they're very disappointed in the response they've heard. In a sense, HS2 have shot themselves in the foot.